what it is, man. Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rep the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what, you know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, holla at your boy when we get home. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Help Blaze, at thehelpblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bad bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella since you get 18% off. We out. All right, man. We're going to talk about the return of Premier Boxing Champions, but I do appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Check out our boxing room or boxing news playlist for more videos like this. I do appreciate the love and support everybody giving the channel. Um, but keep sharing the video. It's the best way to donate to the channel. Shout out to Birkin Boy for dropping the donation to the Cash App. If you want to donate, share the video, but Cash App, PayPal, and description. Before we talk about the return of the Mac, the return of King of Boxing, PBC, let's talk about Robert Garcia was on Ellie Sackback's channel, and I'll put that link in the description. i seen it on Twitter. He talked about how Top Rank tried to rob his fighter, uh, what was it, uh, Joshua Franco, and, um, and they tried to give Andrew Maloney the victory. Uh, basically, he said if it wasn't for the knockdown, that Maloney would have got a draw. He would have been able to retain his title. Now, they just signed the Maloney brothers at top rank, so it's bad for business for, for them to lose the two guys from Australia. But he says, as you know, they was about to, they was tallying the, the scorecards that top rank officials was over there trying to tamper with scorecards in Vegas. And he said he leaned over and said, Don't do that to us. Don't do that to us. Don't rob us. Don't rob us. And basically, Robert Garcia is saying that he did, he he stopped them from robbing them. And a lot of people say the scorecards was way too close. And if it wasn't for the knockdown, they would have called it a draw. So they tried to rob his fighter. His fighter wasn't supposed to be the guy they won, but he did. He like 17 and, and won with a couple draws versus Oscar Negre. Um, so he was an opponent. And the opponent came to fight and gave Andrew Maloney the business. You know what I'm saying? And... Like I said, man, this ain't nothing new, you know. There's been a lot of fights that we've seen that the scorecards been way too close, even when the fighter win. I mean, we could think about Floyd and Canelo. Floyd beat him 12 rounds to nothing. He got a draw. So, you know, corruption in boxing, though, it's parallel. They go hand in hand. Since the beginning of the boxing, that's why it's hard to tell how good was a lot of them older fighters because the mob had a, a, had a huge control and huge influence over boxing. So it was a lot of fighters that was known for taking dives. It's a lot of fighters that was known to have padded records just because their opponents was paid off to lose. So it's really, really hard to know, going back historically, how great fighters was. You know, Sonny Liston was another guy who had mob connections. You know, but for for top rank to have a story, it's funny. I remember another YouTuber, they demonetized his channel and banned his channel because he showed uh, Eric Gomez telling that uh, Abel Sanchez and Golovkin that they had lost the first fight with Canelo. He knew the scorecards before it was announced. And that's fishy. Should no should no 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 employee of none of the promotional teams and none of the you know the two fighting fighters teams know the scorecards before they announce. Let the commission do their job, let the judges do their job. We all hear them at once. You know, I put that I screen shared this video on Facebook that and Golden Boy took my took that same video down. So corruption knows no bounds. So like when I tell you guys when excuse me, when I say PBC and top rank and, 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 and all the match room and Golden Boy, all of them the same. They want to protect their entity. It's no different from the NFL and the NBA. More NBA. They want to protect their stars. They want their stars to be there for ratings and, 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 and the garnish and bring in more money. So, you know, that's sad, though, that this dude earned the victory and they tried to take it away from him. And Robert Garcia, he had a veteran trainer. He knew to go over there and, let, and he knew what was going on. Had he had one of those makeshift trainers or trainers that had been on that level, they would have gave him a draw, and Maloney never would have rematched him again. Now, Maloney said he won his rematch. He's going to exercise his rematch clause, and that's cool. But uh, hopefully Joshua Franco will go in there and knock him out this time. But that's that's the game of boxing for you, bro. Like, you know, it's corrupt. Even, even if you earn something, it's like life. Even if you earn something, it don't mean you're going to get it. You know, and they say if you work hard in life, you'll get what's coming to you. But life ain't fair like that. You can slave. You can put the work in. You can do everything by the book and still get fucked in the ass. You know, and that's why you got so many dudes out here that rather rob, steal, sell dope, and cut corners. Because at the end of the day, it's going to lead you down the same path of destruction and death anyway. Somebody that work hard for, the, for their whole entire life and do things the right way and still go down. You can look at Muhammad Ali and Joe Lewis. Joe Lewis went to go fight for his country, stopped his career, fought for his country, and guess what they did to him? Came back for tax invasion. 
Muhammad Ali, shit, fuck that. And them Vietnams ain't did nothing to me. I ain't doing it. it. Took away his prime. But guess what? He still got the hell out of his career. But life ain't fair. One guy went to go fight for his country and still got fucked. One guy didn't, got fucked, but he continued on his career just like Joe Lewis did. Don't matter. Sometimes the, the end result is going to be it's going to be the same. No matter if you work hard, do your due diligence, make an honest living, it's just, just the way life is, and boxing is no different. The best men don't always win in boxing. Boxing is an opinionated sport, even when it comes to knockouts sometimes. Look at Groves and Carl Froch. In the first fight, did George Groves truly get knocked out, or did they steal it from him? They stole it from George Groves. That was at the discretion of the uh, of the ref. That's the opinion at it. If you go out there and knock a guy out, look at uh, uh Andrade and um, Lucian Butte fight. Not Demetrius Andrade, but it's another guy named Andrade. He knocked this man out, and they you know gave him a fifty count, and and, and he go on to win. Some people feel that about Wilder and Fury too. I don't, but. You know, boxing is an opinionated sport. It's opinionated for the refs. It's opinionated to the fans. It's opinionated to the judges, especially if you go to the scorecard. I have seen fights where people said it was close, and it was nowhere near close. You know, but, you know, that is what it is, man. But, yeah, PBC is returning July 18th. I uh, don't know if it's going to be on Fox or Showtime. I heard it may be on Showtime, but don't quote me on that. Uh, Peno, Juan Peno will be fighting Ray Mark. Gabalo, another Filipino fighter, he 20, uh, 20 and 0 with 23 knockouts, no draws. So uh, these Filipino fighters are coming out the blue, coming out the woodworks, and they bring smoke, they bring in heat, they bring in fire, they bring in the whole nine. So PBC is supposed to be coming back on Showtime July 18th, or as Fox, I'm hearing more Showtime. Not sure who's going to be on the undercard, but they will be fighting for the regular WBA belt. Peno uh, got iced by Nuiwa. Also think he'd be Rasheed Warren once or twice as well too. So yep, for people waiting to return to PBC, I heard the July 18th fight was canceled. I do know they was thinking about doing some fights at the Fox Studio, but this one might be on Showtime. So Showtime might be breaking PBC uh, back in. And um, like I said before, you know we got a knockout artist in there now. I'm not sure, I don't recognize a lot of the names that you know uh, Ray Martin's fought, but just the reputation of Casimir York more, more, more. Meal, whatever it is, that just beat up on uh, Tite, and also the guy that beat up on uh, Joshua Greer, Magic Mike. I'm interested in this fight. I watched Pena fight Luis Neri. He was competitive versus Luis Neri. He was at the Keith Thurman Pacquiao undercard. He was competitive versus Keith uh, versus uh, Neri, and then Neri just took off and went to another level. But uh, yeah, I, I ain't mad at that fight. But my whole thing is this: PBC love the little guys. You know what I'm saying? So, even though this is probably a competitive fight on paper, I'm not knocking it. It's probably going to be better than the fights we've seen on top rank. But my issue, my issue here is that, you know, I want to see bigger fighters, you know, break it back in. But maybe those guys not ready. I'm hearing you could get Jamal Charlo and Dervinchenko. I, I think Dervinchenko chose that fight for the WC title. Um... Also, I heard that the zone has approved David Lemieux, um, so they still working on a deal. So more likely you're gonna get David Lemieux and Canelo. So the zone finally approved David Lemieux because he was a cheaper option. I know Canelo has committed to take a pay cut for his next fight without fans. Lemieux, he beats out Billy Joe, pulled out. Dervinchenko chose Charlo. Uh, I know Dervinchenko was asked for four or five million when him and Canelo was supposed to fight before. Um, so I'm not sure what Eubanks is gonna do. Eubanks and Charlo was a fight that we thought we was going to get. He'd been training with Roy Jones. So, um, I think PBC, by them waiting and seeing what top rank going to do, I think they'll come back with a really, really good, strong, some stronger cards. Um, the short, uh, not Chazor, Chazor and uh, Usyk is fighting with October. Derek, or not Derek, Chazor, Dillian White and um, uh, Alexander Povetkin is going to fight in August. Also, you can see uh, Chris Ariola and uh, Andy Ruiz or Andy Ruiz and, and uh, Dominic Brazil coming back. Jamal, and Darvachenko coming back. Danny and, and Earl Spence should be announced this month for October or November. I'm going to get Wilder and Fury sometime in December. Um, so you're going to have some fights that's going to come up. Lomachenko and T.O. September 19th. We talked about that a couple weeks ago. So it should start to heat up. So I know Jamal James and Thomas DeLore made July 25th. Um, so they'll get, get a little bit more bigger fighters. But PBC is coming back in action. And uh, the schedule is going to heat up. And I, I, I would hope the top rank schedule is going to heat up. Not sure what's going on with uh, Terrence Crawford. Um, I don't 
don't know. Kell Brook not an option. Ugas can fight another dude for the regular title. Oh, Mikey uh, could be coming back versus uh, Manny Pacquiao. They still chopping it up. Also hurts. Crawford was a secondary fighter. I don't really believe that at this point. So it still started to really, really heat up in boxing. Um, I know the NFL is allowing fans to a certain capacity in some of their stadiums. So they have to sign a waiver to wear masks and all that type of stuff. So the NFL is planning to do fans in the stadium. So let me know what you guys think. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Uh, you know, all the links in the description. If you got business question, quality response, your video questions, just want to chop it up. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, in that order. Want to make a donation, share the video, cash out, PayPal, description. Let me know what you guys think. We're going to.